we are back with another video. My name is Tom. That's Matt. Welcome to Today's video is a special video. I can't put that in. It's for what? <laughs> when you bleep it, do your fucking job like you like I told you to fucking do the other times. You don't bleep shit. The bleeping doesn't make it fun. You put an explosion in. Bleeping does make it funny because like, what the fuck did you just say? Right, I'm right. just gonna bleep this whole entire thing. After <laughs> <laughs> you said that, alright, go ahead. Keep all right. But today's video is catalytic converter diagnostics space. It's if you get that P0420 catalyst efficiency below threshold, yada yada yada, and all that stuff. You get a cat code. Or if you're wondering if your cat's all right in general. Now, I'm gonna just wipe it out with a rag. It's not even that bad. All right. So. Over here, let's go. For starters, let's go to the back of the car. Now, when your car throws that code, the catalytic converter is measured, its oxygen level is measured and everything by your O2 sensors. Your O2 sensor, you have, your, you have two. If you're a V8, you have four. You have one in the front of the cat, before cat, pre-cat, and then you have post-cat. Pre-cat measure the exhaust gas going in on this board, it's an air fuel ratio sensor. So what it does is it actually monitors fuel consumption and all this stuff. It tells the computer how much to dump or how much to take. So when it goes in the inlet portion of the catalytic converter, it's measured before, and then it's measured when it comes out of the catalytic converter. We weren't sponsored. At the cat. Now when it comes out of the cat, that post O2 sensor is measuring how much is coming through, like if it's actually filtered. Now, if it hits below that threshold, it's gonna say that it's bad. Now, I'll show you on a scanner what the O2 sensors actually do and what they monitor. This has bad cats. He thinks they're high flow after market. High flow after they're market. not, they're really not. They're literally stock cats. Now, when you come to the back of the car after it's running, you could smell that gas, the gas mixture. It's actually, the exhaust smells worse than what it should be because you're not really supposed to smell, like get a hint off of the exhaust. But the thing is, you're not supposed to stand behind your car and just sniff it. For, <laughs> yeah. like you're not supposed to breathe in your exhaust fumes. Never do that, because there's carbon monoxide in a lot of stuff. I just locked myself in my garage to show it. didn't even run for 30 minutes. Back up, you definitely can't have That's that. a free Come on here. Now, on your exhaust system, on the block, there are exhaust manifolds. Now, what bolts up right after the exhaust manifolds are your catalytic converters. So these two right here are his catalytic converters on V8. Or it's one on a four cylinder. Now, starting off, you could get a digital thermometer. Now, in the inlet portion of the catalytic converter, it should be cooler. Like you'll measure the temp going in, which should be cooler than the temp coming out. Because during the conversion to safer, to safer gases, it gets hot. The chemical reaction there gets hot. You have three metals in there, very important metals, that filter it get it hot, burn up what's in there, and then send out better fumes for the atmosphere and actually emissions in general because of climate change and all that stuff. Catalytic converters have to be there because all they do is send out bad fumes for the environment, destroy the ozone layer. That was all back in the 70s. But now we have better regulations and we can regulate. What are you looking at? Move over. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta pull this off. The grease is gonna come. <laughs> we can regulate the amount of exhaust coming out, the bad exhaust. So when they start to go bad, like I was talking to you back then with the inlet and the outlet, if the inlet is the same temperature as the outlet, that means the catalytic converter is not doing its job. It's not converting that exhaust gas to safer gases. Another thing is a little tap test. Get like a rubber mallet. Whack it. Now a lot of times the metal separates in there over time. It's old, it's metal, it rusts, yada yada yada. So the metal will fall apart inside the actual tubing of the catalytic converter, fall, or rattle around, and then I'll throw another check engine light. Uh, that's about it underneath. Now another thing is you could do waveforms get an oscilloscope, tap into the O2 sensor, and test out the wave of the O2 sensor. 
Now in the rear, it should stay at an average, because uh, they go off a of zero to one volt, it should stay around what the upper O2 is adjusting fuel to. Now if it has a nice little wave to it, which I'll show, that means the cat's not doing anything, it's not converting. The exhaust gas is coming out of the motor, the cleaner gas is coming out. Any questions, comments, concerns? You and your uh, fake aftermarket cats? So I'm just wondering, the aftermarket cats. They're not aftermarket. <laughs> <laughs> They're legit stock. No, there's aftermarket no. catalytic converters are made smaller for better flow. That's why they're high flow catalytic converters. They don't they look make look a performance catalytic converter. Wow, they look pretty high flow to me. Like normal size, they're not performance. They're stock catalytic converters. That's why it was killed because Bama dumped a bunch of fuel in it, drowned it out, and killed the metal in it. So high flow now. We can gun them and that'll be high flow. But the tubing's a little bit bigger. It acts as like another resonator. You feel me? You hearing? Cans, you yeah. hearing what I'm talking about? Yeah, I have full cans. Okay. That's that. Now we'll show them what goes on with the scan. All right, welcome back to the second section of the catalytic converter diagnostic video. Now we have loaded up here on the Snap-on Triton D8. We have O2 sensor one number two. So now as you can tell number two bounces point one to point eight. Back to point five, point eight, and it should drop down pretty soon. Point two. Now your waveform for sensor two should not bounce around like this. Waveform for sensor two should stay at a steady pace. This is after the catalytic converter burned up all that nasty gas in there and now it's regulating uh, its reading off of what is going on in the cat. If it bounces around like this, more than likely the cat has died. Now, don't go off of that to beat the cat off because it could also be the sensor itself, but this one is not the sensor. We did just test that. Sensor one, yeah, duty cycle is. because there's two banks. As you can tell, this thing is pretty beefed, actually, but look. Take a look at number two. Oh, two sensor two, one. Yeah, that's not doing too bad. I think the one side just died off. Yeah, there you go. Oh, two sensor two, number two. So bank two, sensor two, is reading that bank two catalytic converter has took a dump, as you can tell off these readings because it should be a steady pace off of, that's two sensor one, two sensor one. Yeah, no, they all died. Okay, so, cat's gone. That's the whole diagnostic video. Anyways guys, thanks for tuning in to another video of Peter Six Man. Yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Idiot. Ow. <laughs> But catch you later.